And we're live. Juan, welcome to the show, man. How are you? I'm thanks. Thank you. I'm Everything fine. Everything okay? I'm okay. Thank you, Fabio. I'm very happy, happy to be here with you. I'm very happy to have today on the show with me Juan Garcia, aka Robot. I guess that this is what uh, people know you uh, by. Yes. Right? And it's so, my aka. It's your AKA. Man, your work yeah. is amazing. Like, um, you know, you and I have been talking in the past and I was always very surprised how flexible and how uh, variable you are as an artist, right? Because you have all these different types of artworks on your art station. How long have you been doing this job? Well, I started in 1999. Uh, it's about 20 years. Oh I am God. an architect, so I live uh, in different worlds in BFX, architectural visualization, and obviously my artwork is more sci-fi, but I, I usually live in different universe of works. Let me, let me just share some of your work so that people can see it. Um, you know, you. there are these little paper boats, which are so simple, very nice composition. The material of the paper is amazing. The folding, uh, you know, and it's so simple <laughs> and it's like you, it, it, I really, know why. it really shows that you have a lot of fun when working with this stuff. Can I ask you, how yes. old are you? I'm 41. 41. Okay, man. You keep yourself young doing this work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's very important to keep your motivation. It's your engine to do this. It's true. It's true. But anyway, Juan, just because a lot of people come here just because they want to know what the uh, what the uh, topic is going to be. And uh, let's just yeah. say what the competition is going to be about. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about your work and about what you expect people to be doing. So, guys, okay. this week's challenge, since we have spent a couple of weeks with just horrible news, and now there, there's been a news that they found finally a medicine that works against Corona, and it seems like it's an official news, and so something hopeful is happening we thought why don't we do something super positive like the lego movie you know the lego movie that they see yeah everything it's <laughs> awesome and so the challenge for this week is going to be the lego challenge now you obviously are the uh, featured artist for today's challenge this is the work that you have produced for this challenge i've put a little picture here maybe there is a way for me to enlarge it. There we go. And I have put, I'm going to put a link in the video description once this live is over uh, to a software that people can use to make Lego. This is a software, it's called Mechabricks. It's online. It's not a software, it's a, a website rather. It's for free. You can do an account. You can create your own model using the different bricks. Uh, so, you know, you have like, uh, I don't know, custom parts or uh, uh, wheel based. It's, it's really crazy. Like you have a lot of uh, components that people can use to make uh, something cool. And once you're done, you can actually export this 3D model and you can render it. I think that this software is based on Blender, right? These yes. mecha bricks. But anyway, it's fantastic. Down here you have a little... Let me just maximize this so that people can see it. You have a little catalog of all the uh, uh, bits and pieces that you can use. 
and so you know like uh, there are bricks that are sloping uh, you know, the, if you have had any Lego as a kid, you will find all the stuff that, you, that you're looking for. And this is one way for us to try something different and to have fun doing something a little bit uh, out of the ordinary. Now, the rules, as you guys know, are always the same. You're only allowed to make one picture per artwork. The challenge starts officially here. I'm going to send you a link to the uh, form that you can fill, uh, fill in and then hand in your work. The deadline is Monday the 22nd of June at 4 a.m. And then the day after we're going to do a show with judges and we're going to have prizes. Um, and it's going to be a very interesting conversation about the art that you have done. Now, you're not forced to use Makeup Bricks if you don't want to. If you buy a model and you want to download the model, you can do that. Um, you can also use mixed media, meaning maybe you can export something from the Mecha Bricks or your Lego model and you can overimpose it into a real world scenario or you can paint the landscape in matte painting. It's really up to you. I don't want to give you too many rules. I just want you to challenge yourself with a media that might be very different from uh, the tools that we usually use for our archivist competitions. But anyway, we are going to uh, talk a little bit about you, Juan, uh, about your work. There are a couple of questions yes. that I would like to ask you so that you know people can check you out and can go and follow you on your uh, uh, social media accounts. Uh, first of all, what do you expect from this challenge? What do you think that people are going to do? Well, uh, Lego, it's, uh, it's a construction system that allows you to create anything. So it's a great opportunity to, to, to do something uh, different, uh, something special. In this case, uh, I think people can do uh, something um, about their memories or experience or not i don't know landscapes i don't know i think it's a it's a great opportunity to express yourself um i test this uh, software and it's very powerful and it's very easy so people won't have any limitations to express themselves so i don't know it's, it's great Juan, uh, let me ask you, um, how did you start moving your first steps in the VFX and CGI industry? Since you told me you are an architect, I guess that you started out with architecture? Yes, I started with architecture visualizations uh, in 1999 with uh, Lightscape plus 3ds Max. Uh, but sometime later, I discovered the VFX. I start in music videos. Uh, I saw was a, I had more freedom to create. So even uh, projects belong to the clients. You have more flexibility and freedom to create. So I started. Uh, first of all, I made some uh, renders for prints for Microsoft for. Uh, Video games. I remember I, I did something for for a, a game called Blitz, the Time Sweeper, and Halo. And there were uh, some high resolution renders. And then I jumped to the TV commercials. So it was very organic. So I decided to create my own studio in those days. And I can tell you it's it was not a difficult process it was very organic and natural and later i started to work in series and movies and that's it that's awesome and so like you know we have seen during the corona times a lot of people that were working mainly in the field of archivists to try and push their uh, skills in order to work more on uh, movies, commercials, maybe video games. Um, if you were to suggest somebody that is working in the field of archivists what to do in order to speed up 
this change, this, you know, going from an industry to another. What would what would you recommend to people that are trying to, to do so? Okay. I think, uh, for example, your uh, CG or VFX skills are important, but also you need to create a, an image or a marketing strategy to to show you to show you your work. For example, um, I don't know. Um, you can be uh, very good doing ArchBees, but you need to be able to show a uh, VFX artist uh, your. Uh, you are a, a, a talented artist too. So image is very important. Strategy uh, about marketing and I don't know, that's the way to push your... Luca uh, Veronese is saying, I suggested that you stop using 3ds Max. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe that's yeah. one way, Luca. <laughs> well, it's, it's just a tool. You are the artist. Uh, I use 3ds Max, also I use Maya. In the past, I used soft image. Uh, you need to use what you, uh, where you feel good. Uh, I think uh, the software is very important. If you can flu, 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 how would you say? To, to, I don't know. How do you say? <laughs> it's it's fine. <laughs> it's it's cool. But you're still working on uh, 3ds Max. I'm I'm asking because people want to know. Uh, 3ds Max and Maya. Am I okay? I'm uh, myself. Yes. I'm using Cinema 4D, but I'm Great. now learning Blender. Okay. And I okay. Uh, the last version, amazing. Yes, I wanted to show you. I managed to make a box, and then I extruded it, and then I make it smooth, and that's it. And so <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I feel so bad. And I feel like, you know, when I first started and I, there are a million questions that I want to ask to people, but I feel so ashamed of myself that I'm like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm just not going to talk. <laughs> but anyway, man. Okay. Uh, you need to be, you, you need to be fresh to be, to start, to keep uh, learning any software you need. You need to true. be fresh to keep your mind fresh. It's true. And actually, you know, like uh, I really force myself. I say, you know what? I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to do something small. It doesn't matter. And actually, I'm thinking for this challenge to try and model something very small for myself. It doesn't have to be uh, something huge just to try and see what it's like. And, you know, if I can actually make it work to me so far, the biggest problem with Blender is to try and render in cycles or Eve because it, to me it does not as, uh, look as good as uh, Corona or V-Ray, for instance. And this is a little bit okay. of, a, uh, of, a, uh, of a pain in the butt. But I have to say, and you know, like, I don't want people to get overexcited. I like Blender. Like, it's... It, it's a nice software. There are some very cool things to it, you know? And so, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yes, it's powerful. Luca, no worries. And the You're last version welcome. more friendly. Sorry, I'm, I'm just reading some, uh, some messages. Okay. Uh... Yes, I'm reading too. <laughs> If you guys have any questions for Juan, you know, Juan doesn't do a lot of videos, so this might be a good chance for you to jump on a conversation with him and ask him questions. Uh, what's up, Jason? Jason is also joining us. If you have any questions about the challenge, you can f feel free to ask them. Uh, I'm also, you know, um, always available on social media in case you guys have some doubts or anything. But anyway, Juan, one more thing that I wanted to ask you. Are you thinking yourself to yes. uh, to join the challenge again? Because you have already made an image. It's a, it's a beautiful <laughs> image. How long did it take Thank you, you to make this image? Ah, it took about four days. Uh, as I told you, it was not uh, fully time, but around four days. One day I was uh, fighting again Mechabricks. It's easy software. But the idea to create something original is complicated. So 
uh, I didn't want to copy any Lego existing uh, model, so I start to play, and then I saw I don't like it, so I start again. So <laughs> I'm not <laughs> taking that time, but um, it's, it was a very fun process. I'm, I'm not sure if I can join again, but it will be great. <laughs> Okay, people are asking for your uh, art station. At the end of the video, I'm going to put all the links with that information so that you can find the work of Juan online. Um, people are asking, what are your thoughts on Unreal? Have you been using Unreal? Uh, yes, just a little bit. Also Unity. Um, the, the last year I was working a lot in VR. So Unity was a great tool to do that. But Unreal is really powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm scared what happened in the future because uh, uh, this online tool will uh, finish over. Uh, I don't know. I think it's the future. Yeah, absolutely. I think that, you know, it opens a lot of possibilities, um, things that we could not do before. I am still very positive when people ask me, oh, you know, artists won't have a job anymore because everything will be super easy for clients to do it on their own. I'm always very skeptical when I hear things like this because, you know, like, we can have a, a whole debate about photography. But in reality, now everybody walks with a very good camera in their pockets. But not everybody's a photographer, you know, because nowadays... Every yes. single phone has a super powerful camera. You will never be, now I cannot think of any good photographer, unless you put in the work and train yourself to develop the eye and the ability to frame things, to tell stories with your images. And so, obviously, there is always the possibility that a lot of clients will... Um, change their needs, meaning that they won't need artists to do very low quality work. But for the high quality work, the artists will always have a role in this industry. Don't you think? Yes, uh, I think uh, photography basics, composition and all that stuff, uh, you can get it from a, from a software. It's the same case with Lumion. Every day, uh, Lumion is, is more powerful, uh, but you need to create, uh, you, you need to, the, the same skills for a, for a traditional rendering offline. You need uh, knowledge about photography, composition, and a lot of things. And it's, it's, it's the eye. The eye of the artist is not replaceable. Leandro is asking, do you still have a studio or do you work only by yourself these days? And do you still do architectural work? Yes. Well, I have a studio, but at this time, uh, <laughs> I am there at the lockdown. So uh, I uh, mainly uh, do VFX for TV commercials and series. Uh, and in a more freelance way, I do archivists. OK. Let me see. Um... Uh, clients will be doing changes all the time and never get anything done if they are the ones using the software. I agree. Luca has, uh, has said something very important. You know, there, this is one other thing that artists need to understand. When you get a job and you get paid for it, if you know how to manage a client, then the client will be buying a product that it's finished. If you do not know how to manage a client, you're going to get into this vortex of like making changes all the time and the process is never finished, right? Now, when this is transferred in-house for a client, clients will pull their projects so long and they will always be late on making changes, on making uh, modifications because there is this paradox of choice and decision right because you have a process in house you said i paid for it i don't care let's make a change let's see how it looks then that change will drive it more changes people will be less and less happy 
and this process will go over and over and over. Juan, I'm not yes. making you speak that much. <laughs> yes, uh, in fact, I think the most valuable thing we have is time. So uh, we need to learn to say no to clients. It's a, it's a very important rule and you need to be clear about uh, how much correction you will give them but also it's important you uh, add value you need to be uh, different from from your competition so uh, it's a balance between the both things you need to to be strong to say no and you need to be able to give the to give them something special from you i think Okay, so let me ask you, why do you think the clients come back to you? What do you think it is you're something special? Like, why, why do you think that our, the clients come to you specifically? Okay, uh, I think there are many factors, but for example, uh, if you say the work will be ready for the Friday, it's, it's it, you can break it. It's for the Friday. It's very important to me. I need to be uh, very very careful if I if I do something uh, a, a calculation about the times or or delivery deadlines because I think it's one of the things the clients uh, more important for the client. So the quality it's very important, but also uh, your worth. Uh, if you say this is ready for that day it must be ready for that day and that's 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 a key and it's, it's not a, it's not about the price it's not about the the cost i think it's more about your uh, how confident you need to be to to for your times and your quality in my case i try to i try to sell to clients my work is photorealistic and it's on time i don't know it's a formula i think it's also it might also be the experience, right? Communication, maybe, in your case? Yes, yes, many communication. And as you said, uh, if you allow to client to be asking and asking and asking more uh, changes, he will do. So you need to be clear and, and, and need to be kind with the client and Obviously, the, the full satisfaction is very important, but uh, it's a balance between your time and, the, and your time and your client's time. Juan, uh, we've been talking already for more than 20 minutes. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me and for making the artwork that has inspired this competition. I am really sure that people are going to have a lot of fun. Again, if you want to, guys, you can use Mechabricks. It's for free. It's online. I'll put the link in the description. But you can also do your Lego-inspired work on your own. Feel free to go crazy. There is no... I'm not asking you to do a sci-fi work because people are like, oh, can we do something that it's not sci-fi? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Please. <laughs> I agree, you know, we've been seeing too many corona post-apocalyptic worlds lately and probably it's time to put some blue skies and green grass, right? <laughs> yes. But anyway, man, I want to thank very you. Positive. I want to thank you one more time. Guys, go and check out Juan's work on his art station. I guess that they are going to find also links to your Instagram and everything, right, on ArtStation? Yes. It's beautiful work, man. I love how varied it is. I love the quality of the work that you produce. You're a great artist, and I, I really hope that people will come and check you out and see your work. And, uh, and I hope that they're going to enter this competition and make beautiful images that then we can share with the community. But at the, anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to stop the stream so that I can add all the links in the description. Juan, thanks a lot for taking the time. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to stop the 
the stream so that I can say goodbye to you one more time, okay? Thank you, Fabio. I really appreciate your invitation. I was really happy here with you. I'm, I'm very happy to hear, man. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in a week with the competition. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. And